Hello and welcome back to the series on Spacey 3.0. Now in the past few videos I've done on Spacey 3, I've dealt with text classification. I'm now going to be going back and readdressing some of my earlier videos on Spacey 2.0 when it came to named entity recognition, or NER, which is the extraction of uh, metadata from unstructured text. So in this video, we're going to be creating a very basic camp identifier, something that can identify concentration camps in a text. And we're going to do this using some fairly acceptable training data that I've cultivated. This is not the best training data. I'm using it because it's freely available. I'm going to be putting it on GitHub, and it comes from Wikipedia. Um, but what we are interested in here is not excellent accuracy. Instead, we're interested in the methods, these new methods with Spacey 3.0 and how to create a custom named entity recognition model using the new Spacey 3.0 system. So we're going to be uh, importing a few different things right now. We're going to say from Spacey.tokens, we're going to import docs bin, capital D, capital B, very important there. Next, we're going to be just importing Spacey generally, and we're going to be importing JSON because the way I've stored the training data under the data subfolder is in JSON format. Then we're going to do from TQDM, import TQDM. This is going to allow us to actually monitor uh, the progress of our conversion of Spacey training data to um, the new Spacey, uh, Spacey format. You'll see this in just a second. Uh, next, we're going to say uh, import random. Uh, this is going to be used if you want to just randomize your data. I'm not going to be doing that in this video because I've already pre-randomized our data, and it looks like I've got an error. We've got spacey.tokens import doc bin, not docs bin. That was my bad. And now we've got everything running correctly. Next, we're going to just copy and paste in a, a little function that I that I always try to bring into my code, and I talk about this all the time. It's a simple way to kind of load in your JSON data. Now that we've got that, it time comes time to write really the crux of this video, a function for converting our training data into a usable form in Spacey. And before we get to that, we should really see what our training data looks like. So let's go ahead and load that. We're going to call this camp train. This is going to be our training data as opposed to our validation data. And we're going to say camp train is going to be equal to load underscore data. And we're going to call that file, which is data backslash camp underscore train dot JSON. So let's go ahead and just import that. We've got to load it. We have it now loaded into memory. And let's print off camp underscore train. We're going to print off just one thing to see what that looks like. And here we go. It's it's a, a, a quick little text and it's got the entities annotated right down here with the beginning, the ending and the label. These are all going to be camps. We're just creating a simple classifier for uh, camps right now. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and grab our camp valid data as well. That's going to be load underscore data data backslash camp underscore valid dot JSON. And we've got that loaded. This is the exact same data, 500 samples of each. So a 50 50 split on training and validation. Let's go ahead and write a function now that's going to convert this into a usable format for Spacey 3.0. The format that you're seeing right here is the format that you're probably used to. It's the format for Spacey 2.0, where you have a text in the first index of a list, followed by the second index being a dictionary with entities being the sole key, which corresponds to a list of the annotated entities. We need to convert this now from Spacey 2.0 into Spacey 3.0 format. The way we're going to do this is with a handy function. This is modified slightly from a Medium article that I'm going to link in the description down below, which is really good for further reading. It's a concise introduction to NER with Spacey 3.0. So let's call this function create training. That's what we're doing. We're creating the training data. This is going to take one object, train data all capitalized. Now it doesn't have to be capitalized, but this is the Pythonic way to do it in um, when you're working with machine learning, capitalized train underscore data. It just is the way it is and get used to it. Next, we're going to create an object. It's going to be called DB. This is going to stand for doc bin. This is going to be just an object from Spacey, the doc bin with a capital D and a capital B. Next, we're going to annotate over our training data. We're going to say for text annotate. This is going to stand for annotation and TQDM, which is going to allow us to kind of monitor our progress. We're going to iterate over our training data. So we're essentially going to go over our training data and the first index is going to be the text. The second index is going to be our annotations, which are our entities. 
Now what we need to do is we need to create a doc object. And this is going to be done each time in a loop. And we're going to say NLP dot make dot make underscore doc. There we go. And that's going to be our text. Now in order to do that, we need to create another object outside of this function. Let's go ahead and just call this object our NLP. And that's going to be equal to spacey dot load or spacey dot blank. I'm going to call this EN because we're working with English text. It's a blank spacey model. Then what we need to do is we need to say ends. And this is going to be equal to an empty list. What we're going to do is we're going to iterate over for start and label. So we're going to grab each of these things and each of these entities. We're going to grab each of them across in anote entities. So what we are doing here is we are essentially iterating over all the items in the entity section, and we're just assigning a temporary object to the start, the end, and the label, which is index one, sorry, zero, one, and two. With that information, we're going to say span is equal to doc.char span, stands for character span, and we're going to pass in start, end, label is going to be equal to label, and then here's the really, the really interesting point here, alignment underscore mode is going to be equal to contract. There are a couple different ways to pass in alignment features to Spacey 3.0. This is really nice uh, because it used to be where Spacey 3.0 or Spacey 2.0 and Prodigy would have very different ways in which you had to reformat your training data to make them work. You, you can pass in these new arguments now that make life a little bit easier if you're switching between different formats for annotating entities. And we're going to say if span is none, print skipping entity. This is just a simple way to kind of skip over um, sentences that don't have any annotations. All of ours do, however, so this is not going to be a problem. Else insta append span. That's going to append our empty list right here. Outside of this for loop, we're going to say docs dot ends is equal to ends. So we're going to take that doc object now and we are going to essentially just put into it the entities that we've annotated. And then finally, we need to annotate that DB, that doc bin, and we're going to add db.add. We're going to add in that doc object. And I apologize here. This should be doc singular. So what this function will do is it's going to create this doc bin object for it for us and store all of this data automatically. And at the end of this, we're going to return DB. So now that we've gone ahead and it looks like I've got one little problem here. Where is my error coming from? Doc chair. It looks like I forgot a comma right here after end. That should be all fixed now. Fantastic. So now what we can do is we can use this function to modify our validation data and our training data. So we're going to say camp train is going to be equal to create training and we're going to pass in our camp train data. With that, we're going to say camp underscore train dot to disk to underscore disk. And we're going to save this as data backslash camp underscore train dot spacey. This is the spacey format. And when we execute this, we see TQDM happening right there. It's gone ahead and it's converted everything now into a proper spacey format. And we'll see that in just a second. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with our validation. Camp underscore valid is going to be equal to create training. And you guessed it, camp valid. So we're converting all of our data now to a doc bin object. And then we can do camp underscore valid dot to disk. We're essentially saving that new temporary doc bin object. And we're going to save this one as uh, camp underscore valid dot spacey. And now we have saved our training data by after converting it into the new dot spacey format. That's going to be it for this video. This is essentially how you take spacey 2.0 training data and convert it into spacey 3.0 training data. If you've enjoyed this video, you found it useful, please like and subscribe down below. And if you've been a fan of this channel for a while, consider donating via Patreon.